So we'll do like that. We'll take that one province. Oh, no! No, I was... Oh, I, I was gonna... No! I just wanted to finish this war. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> Welcome to this working from home edition of uh, Feature Breakdown. So I'm thinking we start with Bohemia because, you know, uh, you have we have the Hussites and they're like very early in the game that they're fun start, fun start. I am Benjamin Magnus. Um, I'm the community ambassador for Europa Universalis 4 and I'm going to be joining Grugi, um, telecommuting from America into Sweden. <laughs> First things first, so, like, you know, obviously, if you're playing Bohemia, you're gonna go Hussites, because otherwise you're playing Bohemia wrong at this uh, Emperor <laughs> coming out. If you're uh, your fun is wrong. And there is the, like, so you start with an interregnum, the Huss, I think the fifth Hussite war has just ended as the game starts, and uh, you're gonna have very early on a uh, mission, I don't know, event popping up that, that lets you finish it, and this is gonna let you essentially uh, choose like uh, you know am i gonna go hussite or not and as you go further into the hussites everyone around you starts liking you less and less because catholics generally frown upon people having different opinions about the church i want to make sure i have allies because after i turn hussite it's gonna be a hell of a lot uh, harder uh and of course we're gonna need some allies that actually matter like uh well, at least everybody seems to like you. Yeah, because early on I am like a good like rival oh, to right. Austria. Oh, yes, you're still a good Catholic. I guess like Brandenburg and Hesse would be good. First, oh no, actually Austria wants to ally me. Where is yeah, Austria? Just go straight for the big boy. And by that I mean Ulm. <laughs> yes, Ulm is the one that's gonna defend me when the entire empire comes knocking on my door. Right here we have like one of the first uh, events, which is like you know the Hussite War has concluded. Oh, slow down. Uh, the Hussite War has concluded with religious peace between the moderate ultra quiz faction of the Hussite and the Catholic Church. That far uh, has been honored, and peace has re uh, returned to Bohemia. The tension with the Hussites have not disappeared. The followers of whose count many among both the people and the nobility among their number. Perhaps we ought to eradicate their heresy before they take up arms. No, 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 we're gonna keep them around. And you see that this option can lead toward peaceful reconciliation with Hussites or resurgent Hussites. Uh, got a good question from chat. Um, mm -hmm. Someone would like to know if the Bohemian uh, traditions and national ideas have been changed as well. Uh, I think their ideas have been changed a little bit. I think, uh, I don't remember which one it was we removed, but there was one that made, uh, Czech nationalism has been uh, changed. So cost of advisor with ruler culture instead of the HCC, uh, uh, hostile coring. Uh, yeah, it'll save about a few ducats cost. later in the game. Yeah. You know, you start already ah, yes. with some provinces, right? So you would still have to get some provinces converted, but you're not far away from being able to do it immediately. It's about 50-50. We've changed out the entire like, estate mechanics now. So it's no longer where you, uh, every 20 years, you go in and squeeze them for, you know, manpower or mana and so on. We instead uh, we instead have, like, where this there's this more, like, idea of a uh, tug of war between you and the states where you have your own land as crown land and then they have their own shares so you don't have to manually assign it out and they like if they are too powerful like when you get to later in the game where you have absolutism oh hello penny yep yep uh, we, we knew that was gonna pop at some point uh, yeah penny says hello to everybody <laughs> uh but yeah, so like you get more of a like uh, early game they benefit you. For instance, like uh, one uh, uh, privilege here you can give uh, uh, them is the primacy of the nobility here to the nobility, and that will give you uh, one uh, military power each month. Uh, but it makes them uh, uh, less happy, and you lose ten uh, crown land yourself. And when you start to go down like to actually zero crown land, you're you're pretty screwed there. Uh, so as you see, like it, it will warn you low crown land, you'll get some penalties. But when you get like to really, really low crown land, let's say 10%, you only have 10%, then uh, um, then you start to get autonomy in all of your provinces, which you know is generally not nice. 
And here we go. So return of the house sites. Attempts at enforcing the religious peace between house sites and the Catholics have broken down, despite our best. Yuri Podolbrand, leader of the house faction, has raised an army and now marches upon Prague. He means to make himself king of Bohemia and secure religious freedom for the followers of Hus. And of course, Jan Hus knows the truth. So then we it becomes the new state religion of Bohemia, and we get a leader who also follows Hussite faith. You can also choose that we only have a Hussite leader, but we are not Hussites ourselves. But that's boring. And you can also say you're loyal to Rome. But obviously, we're going to be going for this. And now, we are... Hussite. So we finished this mission. We need to get the converting on our, our stuff so we can get through the mission tree. But now we're also alone in our religions. We only we only tier one when it comes to defend of the faith. We we can uh, be expecting a purge sometime. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's gonna be um, there's gonna be events where like the other people around you are gonna not be okay with what you just did. And as you see, like, I already have... Austria here is already not happy. Oh, lucky you. Yeah. Not a comet sighted, but a traveling minstrel. Yep. Uh, uh, so, in, in, in the game you were playing as the Bohemian who sights was a week mm -hmm. or two ago, how many yep. purges did you have? Because I think I saw at least five. Uh, oh, you mean that they tried to attack me? Yeah. Uh, I think twice, but what I was saying team? the fifth one because I read history wrong and I thought like there had oh. been like I didn't know history four before. Uh, yeah, but I want to show off a little bit more. I mean, we can also go through the actual modifiers you can have. You have clerical poverty, uh, bread and wine, solo scriptura, Adamite services, pacifism, punishment of sins. Regular defenestration, Taborite resurgence, uh, Offman Hetmans, and freedom to preach. Let's do more privileges because there are some more that actually me personally like to use. It patronage of the arts and free enterprise. Just make so what we have done as well here is like loyalty works a little bit differently, so it's easier to keep them happy. Uh, and one, there's the right of council, and is it supremacy over crown? This one, like you have agendas. Let me first show what agendas are. You do this, uh, you get it. there's a diet, and then you get to pick uh, one of the proposals of your estates, and this will be generated based on what the states you have. So if you have Jane's and so on, and you'll get one, I, you'll get three random options, and it's weighted toward the most influential estates you have. So if you have five estates, it will pick the three most influential most of the time, but sometimes one of the less influential ones will also get to make a So here we have... Oh, here's converting a province into uh, being Hussite. Uh, this is having a larger army than Hungary, which would be doable. And just deving this province and getting some money for it. But I think I'm going to go for this one to just get things converted. And we get a nice Inquisitor f as a reward for it. Uh, oh, so 50% off Inquisitor. That'll definitely help. Yeah. So we have here. We go to you. Convert to you. And we'll get you done. But anyway, so that that is what an agenda essentially is, right? Mini missions you can do from time to time. Uh, and get so, small uh, little rewards. Someone asked in chat um, how this new estate system will affect mm -hmm. uh, estate disasters. Oh, so the, it's still going to be the same estate disasters, but we've tweaked how they are triggered. Because now, w when, you're, um, when your estates have 100% influence, they it's way slower for you to react and try and fix it compared to previously where you just press some buttons and magically now they're you know everything is fine um so now it takes longer time so we've tweaked the disasters values for that but also done like if they are really happy even if they are at 100 percent they don't progress they like they don't progress the disaster it's still like active so that uh if there's a value it stays if i remember correctly but it's like it won't get any pluses unless they become disloyal or are neutral. Like, 
one of the things I really like about the new estate system is that those privileges are mm. linked to, well, some of them are linked to the goods you produce. Mm -hmm. Just one more thing to, uh, you know, to make goods produced in specific lands, you know, more, yeah. more interesting. No, no, it's like a little bit more, more involved. Mm -hmm. I mean, with this as well, we have, if we look here, you see nobility, loyalty, equilibrium. There's more like things around you as you play that affects your, uh, like the loyalty of the state. Mm. So I think here, as you see here, clergy, if you have 100% um, uh, religious unity, there you will get uh, plus 5% loyalty and the equilibrium, you know, that's where it ends up if you just let the time run. And we probably want to do, uh, do, 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 where are you here? Uh, and I th I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bad thing now. Just, just to show things off. <laughs> uh, 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 I am gonna do this. So the church gets 10% more land from me. Uh, and we're gonna see. That's, you know, you don't want to end up in this kind of situation. And you have some ways to get out of it. You can dev provinces. That will, will help you. You can also uh, seize land directly from them, uh, from the estates. And if you make any estate unhappy while doing this, you will also get a revolt. But, like, for now, I'm fine. Is there a Hussite center of reformation? Yes, there is. Uh, that's further down into the tree. I think it's... Yeah, a Hussite Center of Reformation will appear in Prague. That's what I I, I want to reach to this. I think, uh, what are you? You are, have religious unity. Uh, yeah, right. I need to make all of this into uh, Hussite, and then I get that. So you, you're just going to be converting. We're going to get the Center of Reformation going, and then I'm going to switch over to Austria, I was thinking, and start looking at... Uh, uh, like in the imperial stuff, because now because I'm Hussite, I'm not gonna be able to be emperor or do it with here, right? Such a shame. Yeah, we well we could if we went all the way to Westphalia, but that is what is it? It's 150 years from now or something like that. Oh, could you quickly um explain mm -hmm. to chat what the the new pop ups at the top are? Uh, this one or mm -hmm. that one in the, uh, yeah. the very first. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is, this alert is uh, is uh, you know aspect of faith can be chosen. It's just that it has we've made sure that it has the Hussite icon because it's you know it's a chalice. It's a so we just made sure that. And this is actually a bug we fixed. Uh, just not in this version. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, no, I noticed those shit. <laughs> that shit. Uh, this is low crownland. So because I you know I did the stupid thing before. And if I do keep like giving away crown land, the states will live it like when I when you're at like I think less than two percent or something, the states have so much power like they can they will give you an offer to bail you out, giving you back a lot of crown land, but you have to like submit uh, like really harsh terms to the states. But they'll help you out, right? Like they'll give you back a bunch of land for you in exchange. But it's still not a position you want to be in. Because a part of like now we've redone uh, mercenaries, which I guess we can also cover here. Uh, so you don't have the infinite manpower pool of merc mercenaries anymore, and you have instead this these companies that you buy like full. Uh, and you know if they come from like one uh, place, they will have special modifiers. They will come with a captain that you pay for as well, and so on, uh, leading the army. Uh, I think they are guaranteed to be. 50 army tradition as well so early on they're really like they're a really good source of uh of leaders and you don't pay for that leader uh when it comes to mill points so it's just a free leader to have uh, in your armies uh, each company has its own manpower yes is it possible for all mercenary regiments to be hired by other powers and there'll be none available for you oh no so each each na nation hires their own little ins uh so you can't screw over someone else we did it like that on, very much on purpose okay so now i also got bigger so i think we have actually for mercs uh, is uh there are the three uh mercenary companies that are always available to you regardless of where you are three generic ones they don't come with a leader they're like local 
and they are generally cheaper as well than normal troops uh, at start of the game. Uh, these that have modifiers and so on, they are more expensive than normal troops if you count the numbers together. But before you are 150 development, you get special local ones that are even cheaper to, to help like, uh, like city states and so on. So they can also access uh, like they're cheaper per infantry regiment or something like that and like it's to help like smaller nations uh, oh and oh actually this is the thing we're also going to be covering but it already happened and it's uh the just incident the offenses and we have here the shadow kingdom while the kingdom of italy is still formally part of the whole roman empire it has in many ways turned into a shadow kingdom with the italian states acting independently of the emperor the failure of successive emperors to restore imperial authority in the region has also left large areas under the control of state that outright rejecting imperial authority. But now the question for many Italian states is why they should allow the emperor uh, allow the emperor any authority over their lands. So now there is like a choice to be made, and what you'll have is like the electors and the princes they will say which side they support. Uh, but in the end, it's up for the emperor to decide what to go with. But but depending on how the support looks, they will either gain imperial authority or lose imperial authority. But they will always incur pe uh, like relation penalties. So let's say here we have uh, here it's like most of the empire is saying it is time to abandon Italy. But if the emperor decides no, we are gonna rein them in, he's going against what the diet wants once he can force that through because we want to let the player austria to have agent um but like so he incurs as you see here uh minus 16.2 uh imperial authority there you go i got a stat oh sorry that's my fault i mentioned it out loud yeah definitely my fault but here so if i click here i, I think we should do this uh if he picks this like you see it's cheaper now for him because i'm an elector supporting it so that's worth more and we have the money, so I am going to be renting. Where were you? You haven't died. Perfect. So we'll buy. And uh, as you see here, so this is his home province. But the further away he is, the slower it's going to take, as you can see by this gradient here. So this is 36 days. This is 16 days. And like uh, this is sort of like to make it. You, have, you take more regional armies. So if you're Britain and you're fighting a war in India, you can't really like it's gonna. If you want to get uh, Hessian Jagels to to India, you're gonna have to ship them there yourself. But then they're also gonna take 10% uh, attrition on the way. So uh, it's better if you just recruit someone local. For those of you who like taking loans, any button uh, you you can uh, have custom oh, yeah. hotkeys in game now. Yes. So you know if you take a lot of loans. So if let's you take see. Take loans the... faster. I, oh, this one doesn't have a hotkey. But if we go here, you see there's a hotkey. I want it. Assign a keyboard shortcut. Click. I want it to be spacebar. <laughs> there. <laughs> Delightful. Yeah. So now because he got stack wiped, uh, I can't. He's kind of miffed at me. I can't. Re I can't uh, hire him until he has recovered his manpower again. Which unfortunately. It was only the troops on the front line that got stack wiped, so he still had plenty of in the reserves. So he's just going to be gone for a year. But yeah, also a thing we've done is um, is uh, how fast reformation centers convert is based off reformation desire. So now, because it's so early, uh, you see how slowly this goes. Like it's still been going for quite a while, and it's still like not even halfway through. Uh, and that's because Reformation decides basically zero at this sort of game. Pomerania is yellow now. No, that's a new country. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Volgast. You can form Pomerania, but uh, you start as Volgast. And you can also have the Rugen uh, Pirates, I think, if I remember correctly. Did, okay, I, 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 the, the screen was deinterlacing when you uh, scrolled mm -hmm. up there. Did Danzig take over all of the Teutonic Order? Yeah. Okay. Just... Teutonic Order surrendered. Surrendered. So. D oh, delightful. Yep. And I think I'm not getting much in terms of resistance. And oh, also part of like keeping drill going is uh, the higher army professionalism you have, the less you lose. Uh, so you see a regiment drill loss is like so. 
even if you lose troops to attrition or whatever, that modifier keeps them from like you losing anything. And when you're at 100%, you get minus 50%. And the, the modifier exists in some other places as well. So you can keep the drill going for a lot longer, and you also lose less uh, per uh, month that they're not drilling. I think that'll and, be a pretty popular change because mm -hmm. losing your drill after one battle, you know, I mean, yeah. you, you take a lot of casualties in one battle, a lot of your drill goes away. I think, I yeah. think people will like that. I don't think there's much more here. I mean, they have uh, quite an extensive mission tree to go through. And a lot of it, of course, is to become, well, this is the old uh, default ones, but you also have this here. Yeah, it is about, like, becoming the new emperor. Essentially. Start a petition for who sites to be able to form Prussia. <laughs> <laughs> mm, you have Bohemian Crystal. So, er, like, developing this province, building a workshop. And that triggers that event. I think uh, we that the... event already exists. This is just so, like, I, I directly can be in, you know, controlling it. Yeah. Uh, um... For those in chat who ask, the little tiny flags at the bottom of the mission tree are your vassals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here I can see now the great nation of Glogov. Did I pronounce that correctly? Glogov. They, uh, they, you know, unfortunately don't have their own missions. But like if I would have made, let's see, uh, uh, vassalize hub, hub there uh, now. In here i can click here and see their mission three and like that i can see what the ai three. needs in order to fulfill something as we see here royal hungary and so on i can't remember if this was a thing or if i just dreamed it was a thing because i wishes it was a thing is there a button in the macro uh diplo macro builder for uh making a free city now yep, yep. Sworn there was, yeah. so uh i think baden became yeah uh because that was always an annoyance for me when I was trying to do an empire thing, was having to manually go through and try to find ones to give. Where are you? There. Okay. Tag bad. There. So now I am the emperor. So here. And grant electorate, grant free city state. Yeah, it's all in here now. Cool. And uh, right now there's no one that actually can be. Or no, Empire so has a maximum of twelve. Um, okay, I guess we play as Baden then against Super Bohemia. <laughs> Who am I fighting? Strasbourg. Is it my war? It is. Okay, well there you go. Second war. Yeah. Uh. All right. Well, I guess. They... I guess we'll okay. take over this. 200 ducats, it's more than I expected yeah. them to have. I mean, bank. we we can beat the Hussites, easy peasy. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's see if I can fix this. Uh... <laughs> uh, right, Imperial Ban, Burgundy, Bohemia, and Saxony, and Berg. Uh... None of them, but I can defeat Berg, probably. Oh no! <laughs> Poor Baden Emperor is gonna defend Liege against Burgundy. Oh, a thing we also have now is here. Uh, shift uh, left mouse button. Will how much they're willing to act? Oh. No. I'm a cl or maybe it's not translating through the program. We're having the shift button. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, it was just wrong shift. So if we just do this. There. Now it doesn't mean uh, much, right? Because like they're gonna accept any piece at this point. And if you right-click, it will be maximum. But if we do, uh, we are gonna give that to him. I am gonna take that for me. Uh, and I do this now. Okay, there's nothing he will accept. Yeah, he won't accept anything when it's that much. So you can see we'll the number of troops on the diplomacy yep. window. Yes, yes, you can. Yep, you can. So we'll do like that. We'll take that one province. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I was 
put- Oh, I, I was gonna- No! <laughs> I, I just wanted to finish this war. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> oh, because I'm the emperor. Oh, yes. So this is the Milanese- uh, uh, Yeah, so this is Forza, right? Isn't it? Oh, no, he hasn't come yet. But, like, there's- This is the whole uh, Ambrosian Republic, right? And as emperor- you get an option to intervene in this and like take part in the Italian wars. <laughs> but now I'm Baden, which is sort of like, you know, alt history. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, get our troops up here. You got this. Yeah. Uh oh. The Empress dead. And it's me. Oh, yeah. one, one, one. So it's. Yeah, not the greatest emperor, but we we got revoted in, so you you made back the imperial authority you lost for being yeah, terrible. exactly. Oh, where's all like there's so many, oh, so many allies, but they're just taking forever to actually come here. What are they doing down here? Why is Hamburg here? They're defending your homeland. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. I'm a rump state of an emperor. Mm. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> being the emperor sucks! <laughs> oh, being the emperor sucks when you're weak. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, when you're only an emperor on paper. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna restart and uh, play as awesome. And then I'm going to show you, like, actually like, trying to, like, reform the empire and so on. And we're going to go into the decent plot, because, like, the centralized part is still the normal... I hid before you play. Okay, yeah, good. Um, the centralized part is still pretty much the old way. Oh, the great navy of uh, the Habsburgs. Oh, and now that you have a coastal province, you can, you can show them the naval build. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was also a thing I was supposed to show. All right, so we have some new buildings, as you can see here. Oh. Factory slots, you can only have one manufactory or, or one of these in one of your provinces. Uh, just like, you know, uh, like here. Uh, and you, the first one you get quite early, it's it, uh, is a rampart. It just like better defense uh, and like uh, attrition for your enemies. Then you get impressment offices, which helps you get enough uh, like more sailors. Uh, you have State House, which is for the governing capacity, uh, which we can also cover today, I think. Um, we have Soldier's Household, which is manpower, right? So since you don't have the same access to mercs anymore, this is one way to build up your manpower pool, is to invest money into it. Unless it's Furnace, if you have rules. I'm a big fan of the extra attrition because I love me some defensive warfare. I mean, I mean, get like that's what I did when I was Timbuk two. This passage here, I uh, I like I built a fort and then I put a rampart there. So like when Morocco came, he stood there for like a few months. And I was like, you know what? This is desert. This is not worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just went back home and we white beast. <laughs> put those in some mountain forts and you're gold. Can you play the game and ignore estates completely? Mm. No, no, they're be more, the they're more, yeah, like they're more, they're more integrated into mechanic. Like they're not, they're not annoying. You don't need to ignore them anymore. Like they're, they're not that annoying thing that comes and demands shit from you. Uh, so they work differently. So it, it would be like saying, you can ignore stability in your country. Like, it, it doesn't work the same anymore, so... You, you technically could, but it's advised not to. And also, here you see, uh, I have the supremacy over the crown. Uh, this is still on cooldown, so I didn't click on this. The estates proposed to, like, you know, we want we want you to do this, and then you have to pick one of them. Which is both good and right. Which one is actually easy to do? Uh... I guess you, Intel. Right, I can also just click here to actually highlight it. And it was tax. Oh, that was... I should probably have looked at what province it was first. <laughs> <laughs> so the estate mm. system was ripped out and reinstalled? 
Yeah, yeah that's basically. A good it's a full new there. system. And another thing we've changed is raise war taxes is now a toggle. So it just costs you two uh, mana per month and you don't spend upfront 50. Was this in game music? Yes. There is some new tunes. Mm. Okay, you do that. 20th of October. Chat really wants you to call to arms. Oh, I can? Alice. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Who can I actually call? Hung oh, I can actually call Hungary? Yeah. Then this is easy. <laughs> if I can actually have Hungary in this. But yeah, maybe since actually time has been flying away and I haven't even noticed this, I'm thinking uh, I should probably do more sheets. I just want to win this war, and then mm -hmm. we'll uh, I'll show off the reforms. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Kill Burr. Boom. Burgundian <laughs> succession. <laughs> I did not know that was the castle. Command. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh, there. And oh, oh, oh. Okay, so so Burgundy. Now we didn't get that choice uh, because I was Habsburg. But Burgundy gets a couple of options when this happens, depending on their strength and so on. One of them is this one. Let's it reintegrate with the French. So he now probably because we have been at war, uh, the AI decided I'm gonna go with the French instead. Or otherwise, usually it goes with the Emperor. But there is also going with their biggest uh, royal marriage partner. Uh, like, whoever, whoever nation they're royal married with that are its largest has a chance to get them as a PU. And then there is the one the AI will pick if they feel very confident and strong, which is, screw you all, I'm going alone, right? Like, Marie de Bourgogne will, like, rule everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. And now... France has inherited Burgundy, leaving the lowlands in foreign land, right? So that incident starts. So now we have a decision to make. So the Burgundian inheritance. With the death of, of the Duke of Burgundy, the lowlands have completely slipped out of our reach. If we are to reinforce the empire and keep foreigners out of imperial affairs, we must press our claims on the lowlands or risk losing them forever. So like, there is one incident for each of these scenarios that can happen, right? But this is the one for like when France inherits. So we can do demand that the lowland become independent again. So they remain part of the empire, which is pretty good for us. We can press our claim for Burgundy and like we then we get a restoration of Union Council Spellion. Or we can abandon the claims and you know, that that's an option for Wuss. For a Wuss. <laughs> so we're not doing that. But let's see let's see where people go, right? So most of the Empire wants to demand the lowland uh to have independence and i think that's pretty decent yeah do it so we will wait for that to time out oh and we also have east frisia offers uh, an event for this little country that to join the empire there's actually a historical reason why they're not in the empire of the game at the start of the game uh which i recommend you google and look up on wikipedia quite interesting uh france we'll welcome them yeah back. that's just normal france 1444 now yep and France uh, just also, this is France. Yeah. Like, they also got all of Burgundy because of the Burgundian inheritance. And right, right now... bits and bobbles are vassals and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it's, they didn't lose the land, it's just not no. integrated as fully. Yeah. And also, I think uh, if you go with Ma Marie de Bourgogne a path, where like, you go against both the Emperor and France, you get an option to integrate all of your vassals, but uh, but you have to give the Dutch uh, and the Flemish, you have to give them the great privilege, which was a historic privilege she gave to them, where like they get a lot of autonomy, but they instantly get integrated into your country. So that's also an option you get. So even if you don't get like PU, you can still uh, very quickly integrate them. And I'm kind of stuck here. Oh, uh, you got you got stuck in your little annex. Yeah. Uh, let's. Yeah, on twenty sixth. Bam. Demand lowland independence. So let's see what happens. I'm guessing that's a choice France has to make. They see me as a rival though. Let's, uh, can we? 
yeah, we should we should have an alliance. England, we have mutual interests here. So what we have first is just the normal ones, though they have been changed a little bit. So this one was previously members, but I've changed it so it is Empire Provinces. So only provinces that are part of the Empire get the benefits and not every single province as long as you're part of the Empire. Absolute rash uh, stabilität, but in the version... This one uh, we fixed so there's a uh, tooltip here also telling you, you also get access to a uh, CB. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Yeah. We get Expand Empire. That one enables Expand the Empire. So now, if we look at... Here, uh, we have this. Where we can force someone into the Empire. Uh, and what reform do we have next? We have... This one is also pretty normal, but also have had its values tweaked. And then when we get to Perpetual Diet, that is the one that like enables you to go to either these two. Yeah. I'm a big fan of decentralization myself. Yeah. No, well, that's what, like, so centralization is a little bit different, but it is in, in, in the end, right? It is like you get become one country. You mm -hmm. unite all the Roman Empire into one country. So we're not going to go into that one. It's not as uh, exciting because it's not as fresh. But here, now we have the Perpetual Diet of Dortmund. So it, it this will pick, like, a free city um, and make it be where you have your assembly you're the national assembly of the hre and if you go in where is it in political so if we go here all right there uh or maybe oh this interface needs to update before it actually pops so it's gonna take some time but in dortmund it now has uh there, Perpetual Diet. The Imperial Diet of the whole Roman Empire is in permanent session in Dortmund. Hosting envoys from the Imperial Estates, along with a large number of foreign dignitaries, decisions made here are binding and must be acted upon by the Emperor. If the city were... Oh. If the city were to come under control of an enemy of the Empire, that would be a serious blow to the Emperor's authority. So it's sort of like... Um, uh... With the Ming man the Mandate of Heaven, if someone occupies, let's say, uh, Shanghai, I think it is, or Nanjing, Nanjing, like one of the bigger cities, you get a hit to your authority as well. It's kind of like the same, similar vein. Now, as you can see, we can keep going in the common reforms. There's Create Lands... Let's see if I can pronounce it. Create the Landsknecht Wesen. Landsknecht Wesen. Uh, but like, it, it just makes any... Any mercenaries within the HRE becomes cheaper for HRE members. Uh, and then we have Evigal Landfriede is more optional, uh, but like it, it you can it's still there. You can still pick it, but you don't have to go this entire way down if you don't want to. After that, uh, there's established the Reichstag Collegia, uh, which this is the decentralized forms, and it gives us more free cities. So if we click here. Now we can go and have a look here. Grand Free City States. Oh, perfect. And there's three available. Yeah. And we'll just do this. And I had enough uh, diplomats as well. You have a lot more tools to just keep your uh, Imperial Authority up now. Like uh, with the Enforced Peace that I showed and then this and uh, I think when you go decentralized, it's probably the one... I mean, centralization gives you a lot of Imperial Authority growth modifiers, so that helps a bit. Uh, but this one gives you also, like, I think... Here you get plus one more elector, that also helps. So we have uh, Expand Gemena Thinning, which is just more uh, manpower, and uh, every province within the Empire you move a little bit faster. Uh, we have here one more elector, which is this little slot here. Uh, and uh, depending on the amount of princess, you get more imperial authority as well. So it's gonna be, it's not gonna be the hardest to like keep this going. And then we have here 
and then Reich Cake, because that's the one I want to show off. Uh, allow, to, uh, allow the Emperor to create a cable belly on any nation not currently an empire. Emperor and electors will be able to raise war taxes for free while at war with enemies of the Holy Roman Empire. So, there. That one's great. I love that one. Yeah, and hopefully we'll see it in the weekend MP. Oh, so, yeah. oh right. <laughs> oh, we that would be delightful it. if we got that far. Let's. All right, there. But what it does, it needs imperial authority in order to actually be used. So we actually need to be generating some. So it's not just here's a free CB for you. So now we can do this uh, there. Oh yeah, yeah. They can't be too small either. So. Uh, Venice, I think, might be too small. No, it's not. Um, who is neighboring and maybe too small? You're in the Empire. Denmark, maybe? Yes. Denmark needs to have an equal or more development than you, 173. So you can't, you can't use it to bully two small nations or anything like that. But with France, France is fair game. Bam. And then I can call in the Empire. And there, Imperial Realm War. Oh, it's beautiful. And now with more miners, the Vassal Swarm is... Oh, wow. <laughs> that I gotta fix. <laughs> That's one million troops. <laughs> or, like, the manpower of one million. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, confirm. This is what you get for not liberating, for being bugged, for bugging my lowlands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, someone's like broken. Well, remember that we did cheat in several hunt, what, like, yeah, yeah, like we've been cheating a lot. Imperial authority, you'd never be able to get it this early. Yeah, no, no, you, you can also revoke these. So, what we've done, uh, you can revoke one per king you have, one per emperor, I think it was. So, I can do this now. Bam. Uh, there. An emperor can only revoke one reform during their lifetime. That's a, that's a jerk move for the emperor. You pass the reform, get everybody to declare a war on France, and be like, psych! No more reform for you. Yeah, and expand empire. No, he's too big. Oh, he's not that too big! <laughs> Let's see. Scotland joined in. No, I can't force him in. But, like, so... Oh yeah, yeah, so essentially the cost for Expand Empire is it's making them a vassal, but a little bit cheaper. So as admin efficiency and so on goes up, you can get in pretty big nations into the Empire. Uh, uh, so let's just, you know, this we just, we're just showing the French, you know. As we say in Sweden, Vosko, but I don't know how to translate that. Bam, there we go. There. Uh, there. There. Ah, beautiful. There we go. <laughs> uh, and yes, we want the new ideas, so here we go. Bada Gray skin is here, Gray skin is here, and we have diplomatic reputation plus two, possible policies plus one. This means they can have plus one middle policy as well. Uh, I think it's only Sweden that has that, otherwise. We have the Imperial Throne, uh, morale of armies. Improve relations, national tax, core creation cost, discipline, and plus ten percent governing capacity. Is there a South African nation that is what South African nation? Um, yeah. I don't think so. Nothing springs to we mind. Did, we did add in some new like, like colonial yeah that are formal. But I, I think thought. I think we have for Sonora, California. Texas, Vermont, Back. Uh, or is that I old? think a new Alaskan one, we have uh, Kiwi, or New S no, Zelandia I think it is, not New Zealand, but Zelandia. And then we have uh, Australia, we have Cuba, 
I think there's some here as well, but I can't remember exactly which one. Oh yeah, the Portuguese ideas have changed uh, a little bit. I think like the like I it's better listed what changed to what on uh, in the patch notes, but essentially they don't have double trade efficiency now. They only have 15. They get colonial range. They get a uh, morale hit when losing a ship and ship disengagement chance is produced. Global trade power, global settler increase, merchants, uh, construction cost, uh, and yearly absolutism and artillery combat ability and fortifies. Oh, hello, Mecca. Showing off the papal missions. Uh, are we? I think I think we've gone down that rap. No, the the pope still exists. You can text which. No, pope. yeah, I, I released him. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's two full mission trees. There's one for uh, the papal states, and there's one for Italy. Yes. Well, I mean, as papal states, you can't form Italy. You're blocked from it. Yeah. Because you're the papal state, so you're not allowed to form countries. Yeah, for the peninsula. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, uh, part of this you have, you know, this discard. So you, you very, instead of it being a random event, you have to, re, you know, know how to get. Now you have a literal instruction what to do. So it's a lot of those things. You have the Vatican Library. I think this is also an original event. Yeah, the Vatican Library happens. Yeah, and you have the mission to Christianize. Asia. So yeah, Nurgle, play us out. <laughs> or what, however I tell you to do that. <laughs> I, think, I think we should have all... I, now, now I'm just expecting, now. you know, this Western... the that, that kind of piano they had in Old Western. Play me out, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, everyone. Bye.